Hey, this is Lisa from GoochieGoochieGoo.com. The sewing machine that I have been using for the past few years is the Elma Lotus. As you can see, this sewing machine is a little bit different from most other machines. Um, it has this travel case to keep everything nice and closed up that you can carry it around easily. It opens up by pushing this little tab and the flaps open up like this. You can move, remove this to make a free arm or keep it in place. The top opens up like this and you can see the thread is over here, which is unusual for a loaded, for a um, sewing machine. So let me show you how to get your Elnut Lotus sewing machine all threaded up and ready to go. Okay, let's get started with our Elna Lotus. To open it up, you have to pull this like that and the flaps open up. You can see I always have a piece of fabric underneath my presser foot, which is what you're supposed to do to protect the foot, I guess. I'm not quite sure the reasoning of it, but whatever. Um, okay, the top opens up like this. Now you can see there are some drawings here to show you how to wind the bobbin and also how to thread the machine. Okay. First of all, let's turn on the, mach the machine. There is over here the power switch. And here we go. All right, let's take our thread. Um, I'm using a Guterman polyester thread, the Sew All thread, which is my absolute favorite thread. I always use it. Now, one key difference with the Lotus machine is that the thread spool, instead of being on the right as it usually is, or in the center over on this side of the machine, it's over on the left. Now, how to put this in? You take this little lever thing and you pull it towards you and it pops up this um, thing, whatever it's called. Now, the thread, you wanna put it in so that the, um, the thread comes out to the left and towards the back. So drop it in and we have this little thing, the little disc to stop it. Push down and it'll snap into place. Put this back into the center. The thread has to go into this little metal hook here. Then it has to go through this little metal coil. Let's go like that. Okay, make sure sometimes it kind of slips out of here, but that's okay. Now first, before we thread up the machine, we're going to wind the bobbin. <clears throat> now, what I do is I take the end of the thread, I stick it through this little hole in the bobbin, the empty bobbin. I hold it with my finger and I start winding it by hand, first of all. Okay, once I get it started, I stop. Now, you have to pull this up here and the thread first goes over this circular thing. It snaps right into place. Go around a little bit and then it needs to go inside this little metal doodad. Okay, and you pull it. Okay, you can see it's still going through this little hook, through the coil, around this circle, through here, and then you pull it all the way over here. Now make sure that the thread is on the back of the bobbin, not going in the front. Okay, whoops, this came a little bit undone. Let's wind this up a little bit more. If you get a loose thread like that, just kind of wind the thread over it. All right, now put it on here and pop it into place. Now. To start winding the bobbin, push it over and it'll hit this little thing here. Now you are ready to wind the bobbin. You can see in the dis display here, there's the little sign of the bobbin. All you have to do is start sewing. Uh, start. Um, you push down the presser foot. I forgot to plug in my presser foot. So I'm going to use this other feature that the Lotus has, which is to just sew by pressing the button and you can just leave it like this. You can see it's winding up and it'll keep winding until it gets pretty full, until the thread starts bumping against here and it starts slowing down. Okay, you can see that it is starting to slow down as the thread is wound up so much around the bobbin that it starts hitting here. So we're going to stop Okay, now you just pull this back over. You can see it goes back to the regular sewing. Pull off the bobbin and see how it's nicely wound? Now all you have to do is cut the thread and we'll be ready to start threading the machine. Okay, 
Now that we've cut off our bobbin thread, we can put that aside and let's thread the machine. Let's first take out this thread from there, pop this down. Now thread the machine, it's really pretty easy. First of all, it shows you here the different um, steps to do it. And also the machine has numbers with arrows to show you what to do. So first of all, number one, you put it through here, which we already know. Number two, it goes through this little thing here. Number three, we have to go around this circular thing. So I hold the thread taut like that between my fingers and I kind of pop it through like this. I hold it kind of like what I do when I floss my teeth. Um, so anyway, pop it under here, then go around like this. Number four, it goes through here. Here we have inside these slots here are the tension discs. Now it's really, really important to lift up the presser foot. Let's move this out of the way. Um, when you lift up the presser foots, the discs um, open up, which means you can slip the thread through. It's really important to do that. Now again, I hold it taut and I slip it in here. Okay, it kind of you could hear a little snap as it slipped into place. Then number five, you pull it up here. Number six is up here. Now, if you're um, if you have this, if you can't see this, it's because the needle is lowered. All you have to do is turn the hand dial on the side, or on the lotus, you can push this arrow here, which lifts the um, the needle, lifting this part also. So. When it's lifted, you just pull it through the back here and it clips into place. Then you go back down and you go down here. You slip it underneath this little thing and back behind here. Okay, now let's take it from this part here. After you come through down here, you need to put the thread behind this little thing here. Then you have a tiny thing attached here to where the needle is. You pop it on behind there. Mine is a little deformed. I don't know what happened, but um, in any case, it still works. Okay, now you have to pull the needle through the hole. Um, to do this, the general trick is to lick it. I'm going to put a little spit on my finger so you don't see me sticking my tongue out. And you stick it through the hole. Um, I'm trying to do this from afar. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now what I did is I pushed it through and then when I see that a little tip gets through, I generally just put my finger back here to hold it in place so it doesn't come out. I take my other hand and I grab this and I pull it through like that. Okay, there we go. Now let's put in the bobbin. There are different kinds of um, bobbin holders on different types of machines. There is drop-in, which is this, and then there's a type that loads from the side. Um, I don't have that type of machine, so um, the Lotus is the drop-in style. So to open this up, you take this, you push it over to the right, you just push it a little bit like that, and this pops up. Pull it out. This bobbin cover has two little tabs here that stick in here, and then it snaps into place. So. Push this over to the right, it pops up, and take it out of place, put it off to the side. This is the bobbin holder. Okay, here too, there are there is a little arrow here which points over here to the left, around and to the left. Now the bobbin holder, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little slot here and another here. <clears throat> now, so what you're going to do, and if you want, you can use the little drawing on this plate here to help you see. The thread goes around the bobbin like this, then it comes off to the left and it goes through, out this um, first slot to the right, around and back through this little slot on the left, like it shows in the picture. I'll show you how. So remember, you have to hold it like this so that the thread comes over the top and towards the left drop it in, it's a drop in bobbin. What I generally do to make sure that the thread is in position to slip into this slot is I hold the bobbin with my right hand, with my left hand, I pull the end of the thread over here to the right, drop it in, okay. Now, what I generally do is I hold the bobbin in place or maybe even hold this and I pull over to the, to the left. You can see, or maybe you can't, that the thread started going in through this little slot. So I kind of put my finger here to make sure it doesn't pop back out. And then 
I pull over to the left and the thread is going through this tiny, tiny slit here. And then when it gets to this second one, I pull it back like this. And it's um, hard to see, but it's going through here and I'm pulling the thread way over here. Now, put this top, the cover back into place, stick these little two things over here and push it down, snap. Okay, now you need to fish up the thread so you can separate the two threads. So here we have the bobbin thread. It's okay now to pull it back over to the left. And here we have the top thread. This is very, very important to fish up the bobbin thread. A lot of beginners don't realize they have to do this. It's not explained very well in sewing machine manuals generally, but it's actually really important. So to do this, what I generally do is I hold the thread in place up here just to make sure it doesn't get twisted around the needle anyway. Pull the um, top thread to the front. It needs to go underneath the presser foot. There's a little slit here. Um, so it goes through this slit, then you can pull it back. You can see it goes through this little hole and it's kind of kept in place there. Now to fish up the bobbin thread, you have to hold the thread in your hand, in your left hand. With your right hand, you slowly lower the needle. You do this with the, um, the hand dial thing on the right. So you pull it, pull the needle down and then back up. When it gets to the top position, hold the thread in place here against the needle and gently pull this. I generally pull it back up like this through the hole. And you can see, voila, do you see that? There is the bobbin thread, which got pulled up. So just kind of pull that back up. Now the bobbin thread is in here. <clears throat> pull this through the hole so it goes under here and also this one through the hole you are ready to sew. Now you can read your Lotus manual and learn how to use all of the different um, stitches and sew all sorts of great things. If you want some ideas of great projects to do, you can head on over to my website, my blog. It's www.coochiecoochiecoo.com. Hope to see you soon. Bye.